Glad to be back. Howdy. Well, was there any concern that you were not going to be at the Tampa Bay Buccaneers this year? Uh, no, I wasn't really thinking of it like that. I just wanted to make sure I stayed in shape whenever I did get the call. How important is it for you to, to come back here where you played every down of your NFL career? It would have been weird to play somebody, like play somewhere else and have to play the Bucs. So um, I think it's important to be able to keep on growing on that legacy. Well, as, as much as the signing didn't happen in, in March or earlier, did this feel like this was still part of the plan? It was still something that, that was likely to happen as you went through the summer? I felt so. Uh, I know I had to just stay in shape, stay the course, you know, uh, been here. I know the system. It's just all up to how the pieces fail. Will the offseason feel any different, or was it just kind of the same routine, training, get, getting ready for this moment? It was the same routine, but it definitely felt different, like not coming in to OTAs. I think it was the first time I never came to OTAs, so that was definitely weird. What was the whole experience, Will, uh, like being a free agent, talking to, you, <laughs> talking to your agent every day and getting updates? Uh, Well, the relationship that me and Blake have, um, I really don't care about those things unless it's like something that's really tangible. So I just try to control my controllables, work out, wake up, be a dad, do all the things that I didn't usually do during that time of year, and stay in the best shape that I could be. Have you seen most of your teammates? Man, I'm walking through the hall. Some of them guys is jacked up. They <laughs> walking around big and stout. I'm like, man, yeah, I'm excited. Who are some of those guys? Pat O'Connor. Probably like the Hulk right now with a beard. It's crazy. He wasn't that big when I left, but the dude is huge now. Supposedly Logan Hall's put on some weight too. I haven't seen Logan yet, but I'm excited to see him. I just saw Deidre coming down her team. Yeah, uh, you just just talk about you know what you saw from Logan Hall last year as a rookie and, and his development through the year, kind of behind the scenes. That wasn't a starter, but you know got a couple sacks and, and kind of went through that rookie year. His scale is extremely high, like, and if you put that weight on, come in there with the tenacious, just tenaciousness that I know he has, rushing the pass or stopping the run. I, like I said last year, I thought he was going to be the dark horse of the team to be able to lead the defense in some crazy stats. So I'm pretty sure it'll happen this year. It's only a matter of time. You've been with this team for so long, and, and you've taken on a leadership role. As they kind of enter this new era, right, so many new faces right now, um, just how important was it for you to, to be here to kind of help lead those uh, I don't know about the importance, but I can say this about the role, um, just being able to give what I have, 10 years of experience, teach them, show them what I think my rights and wrongs are, uh, what I think an NFL player should be, and just what a man should be. I think that's a critical thing in the locker room. How much were you paying attention to the offseason moves? I mean, obviously, there's a big change of quarterback this year. Yeah, uh, I follow Instagram and Twitter on the book, so, and I follow most of you guys, too, so I was updated. You know, whenever you posted, I saw it. But um, like I said, that wasn't really in my control. I was trying to make sure I spend a little extra time with the kiddos. Well, this, this team, you're back, but there's not a lot of guys your age and older back. I guess 10 of the 13 oldest guys from last year aren't back. How much different is that, uh, knowing that your leadership is maybe needed more on this team? I think, uh, well, i say this. If you take the guys that were here, I learned and grew from those guys as well. And I feel like it's just a domino effect and like to make it to be one organism. So uh, one player don't, you know, sink the ship, but just got to grow from each other and learn from each other. Are you expecting to, to be full go and practice right away or is there going to be an adjustment period for you because you weren't here during the off season? When the whistle blow, I'm ready to go. So I don't know no other way. Talking to Devin White at all, Will, uh, how much are you following uh, those developments over there? I haven't really uh, had a chance to talk to him, like I said, I was being a dad, but um, I'm pretty sure this organization is really good with these type of things. I don't have a worry about it at all. You, you understand the business side of football, right? It's a, it is a business. The whole thing is a business. It's just a network. You got to be able to do what you got to do, and he does his job really well. The expectations for this team outside the building from the national media are not great. <clears throat> Tom Brady's gone. The Bucks are their, their ship is going to sink. Uh, what, what have you? What is your personal take on, on this? You look around. There's nine guys that have been to a Pro Bowl uh, in this building. Plenty of guys still with, with the Super Bowl ring. Uh, what, what are your expectations for for this year? Can you still compete in the NFC and win the South? Well, I don't have a doubt about that. I feel like 
competition is the thing that's going to drive us. If we, when your back is up against the wall and nobody believes in you, the only thing you can do is go up. As long as we fight, have the mindset to win, come in and be champions, we can be champions. Anything else? You kind of took from last year, right? Like I know some of the things last year didn't go according to plan, but you guys were fighting at the very end there. Um, in those final games, um, remember the Arizona game, for instance, just what you guys had to do to clamp down to, to earn that playoff berth. Is that something that you can kind of take with you, I guess, to kind of help you through this transition? I think that me and everybody else who was here last year got to take that as a learning experience and grow from all the mistakes or grow from all the success and take it to this season, this off season, and just keep trying to propel. What can you say about just the journey that Shaq Barrett has been on? And, and from, from, from an injury standpoint, and then of course with, with his family, the fact that he's here, I mean, what, just what can you say about that? I know Shaq is an amazing man. I talked to him as well. I learned and grew so much from him. I know it's a really hard thing that he's going through. Uh, words can't express it, but it should show the title man that I know he is, that everybody else get to see. Thank you. Thanks, Paul. Well, Thanks, Paul. Congratulations.